Bonjour, my name is Fred Sodou. Buongiorno, I'm Diana Zala. We are working at the Institut Curie. We are pleased to present you our paper on the role of vesicular glycolysis as the source of energy for fast axonal transport and that is being published in cell. Fast axonal transport is a rapid mode of transport for small organelles such as dense core vesicles and synaptic vesicles. These vesicles transport neurotransmitter or trophic factors that are essential for brain function and survival. These vesicles are transported over long distances that can be up to one meter in the case of motor neuron axons. Vesicles move thanks to molecular motors. Kinesin transport vesicles on microtubules to the axon terminals. Dynein is the retrograde motor that transports the vesicles to the cell bodies. Both motors require ATP to function. If we conceptualize the transport of vesicles along microtubules as this little train, one fundamental question is where does ATP come from to fuel the molecular motors? Glucose is the major source of energy for the brain. It will be converted into pyruvate by the glycolytic machinery and will produce two ATP. Pyruvate is next taken up by the mitochondria and mitochondria is much more efficient as it produces 34 ATP. One important requirement to study fast axonal transport is to separate axons from cell bodies. We use microfluidic chambers. This device contains microchannels in which we can record fast axonal transport. We track vesicles. Green vesicles are anterograde, red retrograde, and they became blue when they stop. We then block either mitochondria or glycolysis. When we blocked mitochondrial ATP production, we didn't affect transport, but when we inhibit a key enzyme, GABDH, we slow down transport. Silencing GABDH had the same effect. To study axonal transport in vivo, we use fly larvae. When we silence GABDH, we found that transport is reduced. Glycolysis is therefore required in vitro and in vivo, and this mechanism is conserved between fly and mammalian neurons. Why ATP that is produced from glycolysis would be preferred compared to mitochondrial ATP? We first examine carefully the localization of GABDH. We found by biochemical and imaging approaches that GABDH is on vesicles. We purify dynamic vesicles that contain the molecular motors. Here, these vesicles were analyzed by immunocryo electron tomography. They take series of electron micrographs of the vesicles with different angles. As seen on the movie, GABDH is located on the cytosolic phase of the vesicles. This is particular evident after 3D reconstruction. What is the biological significance of having GABDH on the vesicles? First, we found that these vesicles produce ATP. Second, we found that GABDH vesicles are dynamics. So, is GABDH located on the vesicle sufficient for fast axonal transport? To address this question, we fuse GABDH with the transmembrane domain of synaptotagmin. This TM GABDH strictly localized on vesicles and was sufficient to propel vesicles. How is GABDH maintained on vesicles? GABDH interacts with Huntington, the protein that when mutated causes Huntington disease. Importantly, we and others have shown that Huntington plays a crucial role in regulating axonal transport in health and disease. Not only we found that Huntington co-localizes with GABDH on axon, but silencing Huntington detach GABDH from vesicles and decrease transport. This could be rescued by expressing the strictly vesicular TM GABDH construct. Together, our study demonstrates that the glycolytic enzyme GABDH provides onboard energy for the fast axonal transport of vesicles. We also show that Huntington protein couples energy production to energy consumption by the molecular motors. This work may also have implication in the understanding of the axonal transport defect that occurs in Huntington disease and in other neurodegenerative disorders.